Hello, I hope you're having a good day. Let's have a look at the bullshit chart. I call it the bullshit chart, but it's far from bullshit, the chart itself. But what I'm trying to do is to to show how a society goes from a state of bullshit to no bullshit you know and i am i am um, dividing this by a line the green line here in the middle it is what divides the bullshit from the no bullshit so how how does it work well when we are in the bulls bullshit section of society government is strong government is strong the further you are away from this green line the stronger is government and the more it can do to you the more it is dominant you could say and just can do a lot of bullshit so to say then what happened is that I realized that this line is here. It um, is tangential to this, to these tops here, these major tops that I'm, I'm showing. And I realized after that that there are, there is this attraction point up here. And I, sh I noticed this quite some time ago, and it stretches. The attraction stretches all the way back to the 1970s here. 1970, you know, and it's it's perfect how how the bottoms and tops are are um, uh, spanning and and, and are um, being a part of this larger pattern of the attraction up to to uh, 18 or let's say 20 percent yield 20 percent yield means really high interest rates um, yeah, because the bonds you know um, we live in a society where we have we have pol polit uh, politics what is politics? Well, politics means to have government. If there is no government, there is no politics, you know. Uh, the politics is a way to do things. Um, you, um, uh, the government wants to consume money. It wants to do, do stuff. It, it wants to do a lot of bullshit, you know. So that's why... In this section here, money is money is cheap. There is low interest rate, a, a, a high conf confidence, high confidence in government, but breaking above this line here, and we are in the no fucking bullshit territory, where um, the government, the, the confidence in government is is uh, becoming dangerous, low. You know, uh, dangerous to what? Dangerous to politics? And what happens when there is a high interest rate environment? Well, people move their money around. They pay off their debt because the... The stock market will not go well in, in a high interest rate environment. So they will pay off their debt. And, and this means that consumption goes down because the, the illusion of wealth in the, in the housing market, <clears throat> in the housing uh, will uh, not seem that you will people don't feel they don't feel rich in the same way and they will not consume they will not consume the same amount 
and they pay off debt, but there is a problem. What's the problem, you, you ask me? Well, the problem is that the banks have defined your debt as an asset. Your debt is an asset, which means that if you pay off your debt, the assets on the balance sheet of, the, of, of banks will decline. And this puts them in a high risk situation, forcing them to increase interest rates even more to, to, um, uh, to make up for that loss, loss in in uh, in assets you know so and me me showing you ha 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 I'm, I'm 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 the bad guy now you know because i'm showing you this chart and the chart it's is so perfect it's just so so um um it's it's a self fulfilling prophecy you know because the the chart is there and the attraction point is there and you basically know what's going to happen. And this is in 2025. We're going to have this, this um, bank stuff going on. Um, yeah, what's, what's the solution? Well, I don't know, actually. And it's hard to imagine a way to solve it. So during during this time here, pandemic, you know, they managed to push us down. They, you know, the banking system, the the yeah, it it managed to so to say freeze our assets because we we couldn't uh, socialize and we couldn't we couldn't do shit, you know. So, um, the, wait, uh, yeah, we couldn't do a lot of shit. So, so they could print a lot of money while you, you wouldn't see it in the money velocity, the mon the, the way money changes hands, it wasn't visible, but then it goes away. This fear mongering goes away and we start to have some activity in this economy and that results in all of a sudden there's too much money and uh, I mean too how do you say inflation so to say right but now interest rates are going up to to control that inflation you know and there is really no way to do anything about this because we also have the technical analysis here showing what's going to happen well I think that's all you need to know so people pay off the debt uh, but the debt is assets on, on the banks you know because it, it it why is it why is a debt an asset because it's bullshit we are in the bullshit government territory where everything is bullshit so uh, a debt is an asset you know and um, it, it's the debt-based society and this is going into um, uh, production-based society, right? Where consumption is not the definition anymore of, of um, uh, economical, uh, how do you say, good stuff. Okay. Let's end the video. Some talk about the economy. It, it, it touched 5% the interest rate here. Um, and uh, yeah, it's basically going like I'm saying. Let's do some stuff. Uh, look at this, you see? It's beginning to, to look a bit uh, like that, you see? It's fits pretty well here you see you see that and that you see okay I'm just saying it's it's quite uh, unavoidable what's going to happen here
See you guys. Bye-bye.